Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's doing good today. It is Saturday, July 1st already. Seems like summer's halfway gone or something already. Uh, currently it's 67 degrees. High today's 83. No chance of rain today. And winds at 6 miles per hour. I found out, uh, I, I was looking, you know, at the, I guess it's a, the city's uh, website, and um, they're going to have two days of celebrations for the 4th. I don't know why, they're, but they're having the, the fireworks on Monday, which is the 3rd, and then they still have, like, uh, bands and stuff like that, different things going on uh, on the 4th. I don't know, there's a, there's a better chance of rain on the 4th, but it wouldn't be enough to be... I don't know, they must have just had so much lined up this year that they're going to do it in two days. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll be recording them out there. You can, see, you can see almost all of them. There's a couple trees that are a little bit in the way of some of the lower ones, but you can probably see 90% of it you know, just sitting in our driveway, because they, they do it at the school, which is right over the hill here, um, at the uh, junior high school, um, you know, in their field there, or whatever, they've got a big field, um, so that's going to be fun, and then uh, the fourth, of course, is when we're picking our uh, winner of the giveaway, and speaking of the giveaway, I may as well go over the rules for it. We're running out of time to enter, everyone, so you definitely want to enter. Uh, the rules are, and if you'd like to see the prize pack, just look back a few days in uh, the thumbnails. I did two morning coffee breaks that the thumbnails have the prize pa uh, the prizes in them. They're, they're really, really nice. They're, and it's sponsored by Jeff's Famous Beef Jerky. Okay, they are good, our good friends at Jeff's. And they're also paying for our uh, meal on the 4th. And I don't know, now I don't know if we'll get it, uh, we may get it on the 3rd or the 4th. I'm not for sure about that now since since the uh, fireworks are a day early. But we appreciate that so much. That's very nice of them. Uh, okay, the rules are you must be subscribed to our channel. Uh, you must be 18 years old or older to enter. Uh, it's only available in the United States. Uh, YouTube has nothing to do with our giveaway. In your comment, put hashtag Independence Day giveaway, all one word to enter. Uh, we're not responsible for the prize package once it's shipped and out of my hands. Uh, the winner will be picked Tuesday, July 4th, everyone. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on that. I, I'm pretty sure I'll just do a kind of a short video on that one. Uh, and if the winner doesn't contact us in 48 hours, we'll have to pick another winner. So you definitely want to enter. Uh, it's, it's 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 a great prize pack. They got some of their some of their good uh, different kinds of beef jerky. I think they got bacon jerky, and uh, also um, the uh, red licorice that is that is so good. Okay, it's all good. Believe me. Uh, okay. Today, uh, there'll be a garden update video. Oh my gosh, I was looking at the, the last update I did, which was just, I think, uh, nine days ago or something like that, eight days ago. And it's the stuff has grown like crazy since then. It's, it's really unbelievable to see the difference. So I figured it was time to do it. And, you know, I had just mowed the yard the day before. And... Uh, Everything was looking good. I'd weed it and stuff, so it looks real good out there. The yard does, and the garden does too. Except for where the groundhog has eaten half of my green bean stems and leaves. I still, that still bothers me, <laughs> because it would have been already all over the trellis if it hadn't have done that. And I'm, I'm keeping cayenne pepper on it. I'm hoping it'll try to get, us, get some again so it can get a little bit of that cayenne and maybe think twice, you know, about doing it. Okay, uh, okay, uh, what's for dinner tonight? I did the giveaway rules. What's for dinner? Uh, we're going to have that Wild Mike's pizza. I can't wait any longer. Or we all want it. 
Uh, so we're going to have that. I'll do a short on it to show y'all how good that looks. Uh, I don't even think I had to add anything extra. I mean, it's got so many toppings, it's unbelievable. It, unless I might have added a little cheese, I can't, I don't, I can't remember. It's been a long time since we got one. And we're going to have a salad. Um, we'll probably get some things out of the garden. I don't think I have a green pepper big enough right now. But I get banana peppers, radishes, I've got leaf lettuce. Um, the onions will take a long time before they're uh, any bigger. And we've got, I'm, I'm getting plenty of these small uh, tomatoes. They'd be good cut up in the salad. That's pretty much what they would be really good for. I got some in the window too. But, they're, they're, and these are, ironically are called Ju July 4th tomatoes. I guess because they're ready around the fourth already, uh, you know, and they're and they're loaded on the uh, plants. I think I've got uh, three at least of the July Fourth, and one out here in a, a pot. Uh, so I'm gonna have tons of these little tomatoes, and they are really really good. I finally had one, and they're they're really good. They taste like a big like a big heirloom tomato or something, but they're small. So they got the great taste that you like from the big tomatoes, but they're they're small. And you know what's good is I'm getting some of these to, to tide us over, so to speak, until the bigger ones can can get ready because they're going to be huge. A lot of them are, and uh, it'll take a long time for them to get ready. So in the meantime, we're going to have plenty of these to to munch on. Okay. Uh, won't be too long before I have zucchini because they grow super, super fast. Once they uh, get pollinated, uh, and and what I said, you know, before happened, uh, a bunch of female uh, blooms came out with the little zucchini behind it. Well, there was no males out there, so there was no way to, to pollinate them, you know. So uh, a, a lot of them just shrivel up, like. A couple of them are still out there, and I, they act like they want to grow, but I don't see how they can when they never got pollinated because the bloom falls off pretty fast, like the same day, or, or at least it, it, you know, just wrinkles up and just kind of, you know, melts almost <laughs> uh, real fast. So if you you got a small window to pollinate them, that's why I don't I don't leave it to chance on those for for bees. Because bees might do it or they might not in that one day. Uh, there's not as many bees as there used to be. And that way, I know it's been pollinated, you know. Okay. Uh, some of that. All right. So, yeah, uh, check out that garden update video. I think you're going to be surprised how much it's grown. Okay. We've got some uh, tidbits. Today's tidbits, and got to have one about a UFO, don't you? I mean, this Las Vegas thing's blowing up with uh, UFOs, and that's kind of a neat looking one. I know that's not the real picture. It wouldn't look like that. It says Las Vegas, the UFO hotspot, spotted again by multiple witnesses. Well, one thing that probably attracts them is all those lights, <laughs> I guess. I mean, you could probably see... Uh, Las Vegas easily from space. They're like, oh, let's let's drop in on that. That looks like the place to be, you know. <laughs> so anyway, multiple witnesses in Las Vegas, Nevada, have recorded images of a UFO in the night sky for the third time in less than two months. The first observer captured fo footage of UFOs that remained in the sky nonstop for 20 minutes. A picture of two white circular beams of light in the sky that were interlocked was shared by a second witness. But they don't say, I think this was the third one. So why don't they say much about it? Maybe, oh, that's, maybe they're about that one where they said they had 10 foot tall aliens in their backyard. But it didn't really mention that they saw the, they saw like a light, a flash coming like it, like it uh, crashed. But they never found the UFO, so. So they must have got out to See if somebody could boost them off or something. <laughs> boost, boost a UFO off. Oh, that reminds me. I saw one with uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead. 
you know they're making new ones of that now we saw one i think it was last night uh that where the aliens abducted uh, they wanted to abduct, abduct a human and they got uh mr anderson if y'all know who that is the old guy that the beavis and butthead just always messing with him mr anderson well, i'll tell you what he's like the voice the same voice as it was on that hank hill one uh king of the hill or whatever it's called but um but he went in there and uh he was in the in the ufo and they had a problem with it and he fixed it <laughs> he fixed their uh some kind of machine they had in there uh, said it, it had it had become disconnected and he fixed it for them so and then they could leave after that and he just walked out i don't know they, they didn't get any information much out of him, but he did fix their spaceship. <laughs> okay, fireworks and pets. Minimize stress with engaging activities. And Kitty, uh, unless you were like holding her, you're not going to find her. She'll hide during it. And it's only, usually it's only about 15 minutes long though, but I mean, you, you can't get her. I mean... If you tried to hold her, I'm sure she would, you know, jump off and probably you'd probably get scratched or something when she tried to jump away. But um, anyway, you know, we've had dogs that didn't like it either. We had a little chihuahua that uh, it just scared it to death. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, as the fireworks start to burst all around us, this excitement and celebration around July 4 can cause a lot of worry and anxiety for home pets. I know I have to wear earplugs out there because my ears ring all the time anyway. Uh, that would make it way worse. Dogs and cats have more sensitive ears than humans, making them agitated. To prevent this, close windows and doors, confine pets to quiet rooms, and keep them busy. Distract them from loud explosions. You know, as far as here, it doesn't matter if you close the windows, doors, uh, put a tarp over your whole house, or whatever you want to do. It's right over the hill, you know what I'm saying? They're like bursting up above us, basically. And uh, it sounds the same. It shakes the house. I mean, it sounds the same inside the house, basically, as it does out there. So there's no getting away from it. Okay. England's secret sculptures. Borrow Dale Banksy strikes again. That is crazy looking. I don't know how he did that if they all just not connected in any way that they're just like wedged in there i don't know how he did that up there then that's, that's pretty wild a mysterious new stone sculpture has been discovered in lake district northwest england they're created by an anonymous artist dubbed the borrowdale banksy that's kind of a weird name i don't know the two foot semicircular arc is concealed against a jagged rock Similar structures have been discovered in the past two years, but the artist remains unknown. Hmm. Okay. Captivating air glow spectacle illuminates Colorado night sky. That is crazy looking. <clears throat> Aaron Watson captured stunning photographs of brilliant green light streaks in the starry sky that were visible above a mountain range in Colorado for two hours. The display resembling an aurora occurs due to less extreme forms of solar radiation. It is air glow, a phenomenon that occurs in the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see if we can find what's going on on the nice news. Hmm. I never look at this thing. It's called Word Genius. It says, what does the phrase, it's just semantics, mean? I have no idea. Um, Chewy. Jeff's. Jeff's famous beef jerky. They got 15% off. Um, I don't know if it's for... I'm trying to see if it says uh, any time. It doesn't really have a time, uh, you know, that it expires or something. But look at this. 
There's 15% off. It says, be sure to enter code 15% savings. Looks like all one word at checkout. So there you go. Good thing we saw that. And they've, they've got the, the real popular classic bourbon whiskey, uh, beef jerky back in stock. But they're still having trouble with my good old uh, Jeff's Famous All-Purpose Seasoning and Rub. They're still having problems getting uh, the supply of it, you know, uh, a new supply of it. So anyway, okay. I know there's one in here. Takes a while. What's this? Here's the United Grocery Outlet weekend deals. Oh, they got those corn dogs, two ninety nine. Those beef ones, they're state fair too. They are really, really good, y'all. They were three ninety nine. We got we, that's what we pay for. Them. They got Great Franks, whoever makes those, Gwaltney it looks like. Chipotle cheddar or bourbon smoked sausage, that looks like, I'm not for sure, kind of looks like Johnsonville maybe or something. Those right there. What would I do? Pressed on something. There it comes back. Uh, what is this? They've got a uh, bag of ice, 16 pounds, $1.99. That, that, that's Heinz 57 steak sauce, obviously, $1.29. That's, if that's the same bottle as Dollar Tree, you can get it at Dollar Tree for $1.25, but it's still a pretty good price. Bread and butter pickles, two for a dollar. Whoa. And some kind of chili sauce. 15 ounce can for a dollar. I, I like getting the small cans of chili sauce because you never use what's left of chili sauce when you, get, you use it for hot dogs. So if you have that big thing, I guess you could pour it in a, a, maybe a storage bag and freeze it or something. But, you know, we would never use a whole 15 ounce can to have hot dogs one time. But the small cans seem like they, you know, are better for that. But that's a good deal, a dollar for that. Okay, come on now. There it is. Nice news. Hmm, I don't know about that. How about this? This sounds like a good, good one. Psychologist says advances in trauma therapy are helping patients get their futures back. When Deborah Kaysen, a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Stanford University, first entered her graduate program decades ago, it was commonly accepted that post-traumatic stress disorder couldn't be cured. That has since changed, as advances in cognitive and behavioral therapy for trauma, for patients with trauma, are helping people achieve remission with high success. That would be great. I know that's a real problem for some people. I've been doing this for a long time and I am still excited about this field as I was at, as a second year grad student because this is a place where you can watch people get their futures back and their lives back in short periods of time. I think I've kind of, I kind of ha have it because I've had so many uh, really traumatic experiences at the hospital in the past, terrible things I mean and it, and it really bothered me you know and I can't hardly go to the hospital like for a test or anything I if I had to go for any reason I would be I would have an anxiety attack and I, I always do so I try not to have to go there and I've been doing this for a long time and I'm still excited about this field as I was as a second year grad student because this is a place where you can watch people get their futures back and their lives back in short periods of time. Uh, one area that she's particularly hopeful about is mass treatments in which patients attend therapy daily and even, I felt Kitty rub against me. She must be under the table. Uh, um, 
which patients attend therapy daily or even twice daily for a short time rather than the typical course of once a week, which can take months to see results. The outcomes are at least as good, if not better, and they are lower. there are lower dropout rates for the condensed course of treatments. People are more likely to finish at, and they get at least as good of an outcome, she explained. So that's good. Here's the quote of the day is Marsha P. Johnson. History isn't something you look back at and say it was inevitable. It happens because people make decisions that are sometimes very impulsive and of the moment, but those moments are cumulative realities. Okay. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. Definitely check out the garden update. I think you're going to be surprised how much everything's grown. So check that out later on today and have a great day and enter the contest before you run out of time. Bye, everybody, and God bless.